I will destroy you, Spider-Man! Is this real? Gotta move! There's a way across! Go! I'm more powerful than you! Gotta hurry! I have no companies going down to you! Prepare hey, to fellas. say farewell! Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Make It Move Media. I've been 3D scanning and animating for well over a decade now. Um, it's really helped me blow up my Instagram channel, Make It Move Media, and I've 3D scanned action figures, and I animate them, and I put them into crazy scenarios and a lot of fight scenes. And to do this and to create these action-packed little mini-series or adventures, I use a lot of different software to do it. Um, one of those being Reillusion, and their whole suite of 3D animation software is mind-blowing, and it's really allowed me to take my animations to the next level. So today, what I want to do is I want to tap in specifically into iClone 8 and how I'm using iClone 8 to blend some of my animations and to make hands stick, stick to objects and really just beef up the, the realism of my animations and do it pretty quickly compared to like a lot of other software that's out there. I know a lot of you have been asking about it, so without further ado, here we go. I will destroy you, Spider-Man. Is this real? Gotta move. There's a way across. Go! I'm more powerful than you! Gotta hurry! I have no companies going down to you! Prepare hey, to fellas. say farewell! Alright, let's take a look at how I animated this thing. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rig this character up. I've already 3D scanned him, and I have already have a file that I can kinda plug in here and play, and I'm gonna rig this body. It doesn't take too long. Um, you can see the, the rigging taking place here in uh, act, Actor Core. I'm going to rig my right hand. I'm going to rig my left hand. All right, so here he is, and we'll just give him a test, a test walk. He looks pretty BA, so I'm good with that. All right, time to export him out to iClone 8. All right, so now we're over at actorcore.reillusion.com. This is where you can get a ton of high quality motion capture files that work right inside of iClone 8. So you rig your character in Actorcore, you come over here, you download these animations, you pop it into iClone 8 and you get the party started. It's a pretty cool process. And the beauty about it is if you have the Reillusion suite, it's one workflow, you don't have to worry about managing things um, in, in multiple locations. So anyway, let me go ahead and we're gonna hop into this parkour I'm gonna view the items here and check this out. There's so many different animations and you can watch them play out here so you can kind of see what you're getting before you start using it. So I went ahead and purchased this pack and I'll show you guys what that looks like inside of iClone 8 and we'll start mashing up this animation. All right, so we're in iClone 8 and let's import my Spider-Man character. I've already made him a character so what I'm gonna do, rather than start templates when iClone boots up, I'm gonna to go to custom I'm going to go to characters and I'm going to find my character. So I'm going to double click and it's going to put it right into my scene. Pretty sweet. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out from my templates and my packs that I've purchased inside of my parkour pack, I'm going to pick out a few motions. And the first one I'm going to start with is um, like a slowdown motion. So um, I know what I'm going to do already. So let me just pop this guy in here. And so basically I just double click this and now my character is animated so he's moving already which is pretty sweet i mean this took no time at all for me to just pop that in there once i've initially rigged my character inside of iclone 8. so now we're gonna we're gonna merge a few more animations um, so let's do <clears throat> this jump motion and, and i'll just kind of pop it at the end here again i'm double clicking and then i've got this this other motion where spider-man kind of flips up onto another platform and then jumps and swings right um, that's very hard to animate, but not for us. So um, one thing inside of iClone 8 that's really nice is you can blend your animations together for seamless motion. So let me show you what that looks like. Right now I'm just dragging and slamming these animations together and you can kind of see here that it's it's pulling that and merging that with the first animation. So, so what I have is a natural slowdown and then he just flips up onto another platform. So this is like, you know, 60% of the work that is technically done for me already, which is phenomenal. That's why I love animating with these assets. Even if you don't have assets from iClone, um, and I'll show this at the end of my video, um, I can merge different animation files or different motion capture files with the same feature, even though it wasn't created with an iClone animation. It's pretty slick. Okay, so I'm gonna add three more animations to Spider-Man. I'm gonna do a precision jump, an aerial move, a palm spin jump. So let me just go ahead and 
search over here for, for precision. There we go, my motion jump. Again, I'm going to double click. And what this is going to have Spider-Man do, he's going to walk across, you know, some beams and then do one final leap onto the final beam and kind of balance. So, again, I want to merge these, so I want these to kind of take place right after each other so there's no hesitation. So after he lands, he's automatically going to go into the motion, if you see that there. That's pretty awesome. This is very hard to do in Blender. I almost don't recommend it because there's no feature inside of Blender that's going to get you here as quickly as iClone 8 has. Great tool. All right, so let's go ahead and add these other ones. So we've got the Aerial. Aerial, let's do the three leaps here. And so go to the end of my animation, and I'm just going to double click again. And now he's got these Aerial moves, so he's doing three flips sideways. <clears throat> and then let's merge these again. And so you can kind of see here that he's going to balance and then just go into it. But what I don't like about this for my animations, I don't want him to gather himself. I just want him to kind of jump. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come here and, and you can kind of customize all of this. And so I'm going to split this animation right here, delete that, and then I'm going to merge from there. And that way there's more of a a seamless integration and another thing I'm noticing is his, his left foot is slipping and so we're just gonna come here we're gonna align the left foot and it's just gonna help that a little bit and, and make it so that he doesn't you know slip on me so that's pretty pretty phenomenal and then at the end of this motion what I want him to do is get get ready to swing so on his last flip I'm gonna have him swing and I've looked at these animations a lot there's this palm spin animation and again, I'm just going to go to the end of my timeline, double click, and then show you guys what this looks like here real fast. And so right here, I think that, that could make, so here's the full animation. So he's kind of doing some loops. I don't need that. I just need him to extend so that he can shoot a web right from his hand, uh, which you guys saw in that, in that short. So, and I want it to be seamless. So again, I'm gonna slam these guys together and when he lands, he's just gonna go right into the motion, and then I'm gonna edit this. All right, so I've got a few animations for Mixumo. I've got a start swing animation, and then I have a swing animation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just drag these in here. What's super easy, I'm just gonna drag it, put it right on my, my character. What it's gonna do is it's gonna say, hey, you know, you're importing um, a motion capture file. It's all automatically gonna pick Mixumo uh, to retarget, which is very difficult to do in some software. So especially in Blender, it's, it's kind of tricky to do this, but it's not in here. And so I'm gonna convert all, and it's gonna tell me, you know, give me a warning that I don't really care about. And I'm gonna do the same thing then with this other animation. So I have them all in my project. And we're just gonna paste it in there. It's gonna ask me the same thing. How do I wanna import? I'm gonna retarget, convert all. All right, and so now I've got these animations so you can see them swinging. And then you can see how this extension of the swing is where he lands. And you saw that in the, in the short that I made. So what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna slam all these together. Cause you see how he jumps there? You see how he goes from here to here? Well, we don't need that. And we also don't need him to, to jump from here to here. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna stop this animation probably right about there. That's like a good, you know, web spot to stop. So I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna delete it. And then I'm gonna take this start swing animation and I'm gonna slam it into it. And so what I want is I want that motion of swinging, um, except I want that to start after he's already started swinging up. So let me zoom in here. So I want that to take place right about there. I think that's a good spot. So again, we're gonna cut that right here and delete the excess that I don't need. And then we are gonna slam these guys together like so. All right, so now we've got this animation that looks kind of funky. And what we need to do is find out how we need to align these. So uh, my instinct says, hey, let's align our left foot because we've been doing a lot of alignment with left, left feet lately and it seems to be working out. So I'm just gonna scroll through this that I can work with. I'm gonna blend it just a little bit more so that it's a more of a natural movement. Oh man, look how beautiful that is. That is amazing to me that this software can blend two animation files 
from two separate, totally different systems. And now I'm just gonna slam in the landing and I'm also gonna go ahead and align the left foot. And then let's see, look at that. Look at that. That's simply amazing. All right, so the final detail that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make sure that Spider-Man's hands do not go through this cylinder. You see how it's not really aligned through that swinging motion? Um, that's just part of the motion capture, but what Icon 8 has done is, is they've created this tool that is called Edit Reach Target. And what this is gonna allow me to do, it's going to allow me to have those hands stick to that cylinder. So let me show you what I mean. So right now, it's willy-nilly, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the Reach Target. We're gonna pick that cylinder and keep current pose that's very important and what that's going to do is create a keyframe here where that's going to stick where his hands are going to stick to that cylinder and so when he rotates what i need to do is rather than keeping his hands and what's cool about this is if you had a moving object and you wanted to move this around um, like however you wanted to it's like it's going to stick to it that's that's pretty sweet um, but i'm going to keep it in the spot that i that i needed to be in right there and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna unlock his hands right about here. And so I'm just gonna select his hand and hit release and select his hand and hit release. And then what, what's gonna happen is when Spider-Man lets go, it's gonna be natural. So he's gonna stick to that cylinder as he's swinging, which is exactly what I want, which is pretty phenomenal and then he's just gonna go naturally down. Okay, so there you have it. Here's the final animation inside of iClone 8. After very little effort to kind of piece these things together and get my final animation down pat, and this is exactly what I used inside of Blender, and I'll show that next. Look at that. How cool is this? There's that seamless swing, boom. To get this inside of Blender, all you gotta do is select your figure, and you are going to export this as an FBX. And when you do that, um, you can do current frame, but I want the whole range. So I'm gonna look down here at the end of my timeline of my animation, 1242. I'm gonna set this here to 1242, and I want this to be 60 frames a second inside of Blender, which is a preset, which is phenomenal. And then I'm going to export. Now let's hop over to Blender and I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so I'm inside of Blender here and I've imported my animation file into my file here. And check this out. Boom, sticks to it. I put my platforms on there. That's where I'm gonna have the Le uh, Legos pop in and out, but you can kind of see the combination of these two platforms and what, what you're able to pull off um, and then Blender I really used for the VFX part of it, so for all those Legos appearing and, and disappearing. And... All right, everyone, there you have it. So Spider-Man parkouring through Mysterio's mystical world of Legos appearing and reappearing, all happening through an uh, awesome workflow with Reillusion, ActorCore, and iClone 8. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow Reillusion, and you know they'll keep you up to date with everything they're releasing. It's phenomenal. So thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys.